are listening to an audio guide which is about to take you through the space of Nadezhda Petrovic gallery. It was uh, the 25th uh, memorial of Nadezhda Petrovic in Čačak and um, it was actually also it is also this year the 50th uh, anniversary of the gallery. Uh, and I was awarded within the memorial the gallery award and um, well, it made me really happy. <laughs> um, the work, the piece I did uh, there was, uh, is actually still site-specific. So uh, I have um, made uh, a set of stories uh, which deal with um, uh, layers of the space that particular space, the gallery in Čačak. The thing is that, uh, that this work works uh, with that space, particular space, it was made for that space and with the works that are, were there at that moment. It was a group exhibition, so... Um, but now, as the exhibition is, uh, has been taken down, um, I'm, I've tried to continue this and actually to, to, to experiment and see how it works within different spaces, although you don't have any more of these works around and you don't have that space. I'm, I'm now in Belgrade, I'm working with completely different space. So when you get to the space and you wish to uh, experience this piece, you do get a, a pair of headphones and an MP3 player, which was rather unfortunate combination because it was supposed to be the original kind of general museum guide. So you, anyway, you get the MP3 player and then you go around the space, you start from the number one and uh, then you hear actually some kind of prelude, some kind of introduction that takes you to another space kind of offers you to go to find another place which is uh, uh, you do basically the orientation you use are the numbers which are put on the floor and I'm dealing basically with three basic levels the past the present and the future uh, so the past kind of gets uh, the point of the history of the building and uh, it concerns or touches upon Nadezhda Petrovic and her work, from my perspective, of course. And uh, the present uh, is dealing with the works which are were at that moment in the gallery. And the future is dealing with some projections and possibilities that I envision in the space. Guides usually take you somewhere. But this is not going to be the case. You are where you are and I won't be able to help you come where you wish to go, because I don't know where you want to be. But there, where I have been, I'm leaving you a trace. The thing I did was basically, I mean, the title of the work is uh, Guide Through Exhibitions and Cities. So the thing I did was to guide people through the space, but on an audio level, officially. <laughs> and then. What I'm interested in is evoking images and rather uh, contexts and situations and different kinds of sensations in the audience, in the spectator. But they're their own, so everybody who listens to the same track, for example, will have completely different um, associations and thoughts and images in front of them. What you see outside, like an outsider, not the one who has the headphones, is basically nothing. <laughs> it's just people walking around the space. Whereas as a spectator, as a listener, as, a, as an audience, you actually get to see many different things happening in the space, which become part of your thoughts through an audio, an audio guide.